you work for a large organisation, you probably have an address book, and that is all your colleagues who work within your organisation. It will have their email addresses and phone numbers. For example, to look at your address book, you can go to the Home tab in the ribbon, and in the Find group, you'll find a button called Address Book. And if you click this button, you'll see all your colleagues within your organisation. But if you want to have contacts outside of your organisation or you don't have an address book because you're a smaller business, you may want to add contacts to your contacts folder. On your navigation pane is a contacts folder and I'm going to click the contacts folder. If I want to create a new contact on the home tab in the ribbon, I'll click the button new contact. A new contact might include myself for example, so I'll put my name. I'll put the company's name. other details about this contact and this enables you to easily contact this person when they live or reside outside of your organisation. You can store up to three email addresses for a contact. So I have Kathy at Extra and then I can hit this drop down here and choose to store a second email. Kathy at Bay Rodders. And a third email. So you can store up to three email addresses for each person. You can also store a web address. You can also store a number of phone numbers, for instance the business landline, their home number, their business fax, and their mobile. You can also store up to three addresses. For example, I'll put a business address for mail. And this is the mailing address, but then I'll hit the drop down and I'll choose a residential address. You can also keep some notes about the particular person and all the time that you're entering information you can see that a business card has been created for that particular contact. So add me as a contact because I'm outside of your organisation so that you can easily contact me by phone or by mail or by email. You can also add yourself as a contact because later on I'll be showing you how you share your contact information with other people. Once you've finished filling in the contact details, on the contact tab in the ribbon, you have a big button called save and close. And if I click save and close, I'll have been added to my contacts and I can see myself here. If I double click, I can open up that contact and I can save and close to close the contact.